Hello, and welcome to the Verification Academy. I'm Tom Fitzpatrick, Verification Evangelist here at Mentographics, and I'll be taking you through the next eight sessions of this video course on UVM Basics. Before we begin, I'd like to thank my friend John Ainsley, CTO of Dulos, for developing the original version of the UVM Basics course. As you know, best practices tend to evolve a bit over time, so we've updated this video course to reflect these changes. Let's go ahead and get started. So this first session will be an introduction to UVM, suitable for managers as well as engineers. It'll give a brief overview of the architecture of a UVM test bench and start introducing some of the concepts of UVM. The remaining sessions will give a step-by-step -step technical introduction to the details of UVM coding. We'll start with a UVM Hello World example, just to kind of show you how to get things up and running. Then we'll talk about how to connect your environment to your DUT. We will talk about how to connect components to each other. We will introduce the concept of transactions. We will talk about sequences and tests. We'll talk about monitors and subscribers. And lastly, we'll talk about reporting. So what exactly is UVM? Well, UVM is the Universal Verification Methodology. That's what UVM stands for. It is a mechanism for describing test benches in System Verilog for designs that are either in System Verilog or Verilog, or even VHDL or System C designs. It is an Accelera standard. It's based on the work that Mentor did along with Cadence to develop the OVM, the Open Verification Methodology. The success of OVM caused a groundswell of support in the industry, and we brought other vendors and users together under Accelera to develop the UVM. The UVM is a System Verilog base class library. This is the first standard that I'm aware of that actually ships source code along with the documentation. So that source code is shipped in open source under the Apache license. And it is nearly backward compatible with OVM. So if you're familiar with OVM, a lot of the concepts will seem familiar. By the end of this course, you'll...